Are you ready to be great? Stop letting self-doubt, insecurity, and fear prevent you from building your business. This morning, wake up to success. Here's John Preston. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Wake Up to Success. Today, we're going to continue our discussion on mindset. It's based on a book by Carol Dweck, a well-known psychologist, who theorized that you can divide people into two categories. Those with a fixed mindset who believe that certain traits are established at birth and you just simply can't overcome them. That you're either born with talent or you're born with circumstances and those things control what you're capable of accomplishing in your lifetime. The other mindset is that of a growth mindset, which believe that talent and circumstances dictate your starting point, but not necessarily where you end up. They believe that hard work will beat talent if the talent doesn't work very hard. And as a result, they're much more likely to be successful. So today we're going to continue our look at mindset and this fixed versus growth mindset. And we're going to take another delve into how you can determine where you fall on that spectrum and help you figure out, am I a fixed mindset person or am I a growth mindset person? If I'm a fixed mindset person, I need to find a way to change or I'm never going to develop the success levels that I want to achieve. So one of the symptoms that I want to look at today of those people with a fixed mindset versus a growth mindset is how you relate to other people or more importantly, how you relate to the success of other people. Often people with a fixed mindset resent success in others. They, they actually despise people who have high levels of success. They talk behind their back. They, they basically view, if, if I had had all of the benefits he or she had when, when I was getting started, I'd be able to do what they do as well. Where a growth mindset person is excited about the success in others. They look for ways that those people who achieve success did so and try to emulate those ways. When you break it down, the fixed mindset people who resent the success of others really come always come back to the same thing. They often look at the success of others and determine that it is easier to believe they had advantages that I don't have than it is to believe I simply wasn't willing to work hard enough to make it happen. And that's a hard honesty that most of us are incapable of experiencing with ourselves, where the growth mindset just sees that as proof they themselves can accomplish greatness. So that is one of the things. Take a close look at how you react, how you react when you find out that somebody is successful. Are there people you went to school with that are enormously successful? And in your mind, you've painted out all the advantages that they had that you didn't have. When you look at uber successful people, you know, your Elon Musk, your Bill Gates, is are those people successful because they had advantages or better skills or more talent or something of that nature? Or do you even consider the possibility that they're successful because they worked harder? If you fall into that first camp, then we need to you need to accept that you have a fixed mindset. And in future lessons, we're going to take steps to correct that. You can change your mindset. It's not easy. The second thing about how you relate to other people involving mindset is do you resent constructive criticism? Everybody likes to be told how great they're doing. Everybody can handle positive criticism. But when you hear negative criticism, do you automatically turn on the person that's criticizing you? Or do you consider what they're saying, and consider that perhaps taking that advice would make you better at what you do or perhaps a better person. People with a fixed mindset resent criticism. People with a growth mindset welcome criticism, not just the good kind, but the bad kind as well. So these are two ways in how you relate to other people that can determine whether you have a fixed or a growth mindset. Now, like I said, in future lessons, we're going to look at how you can overcome that. I will tell you, I'll give you a little hint. 
if you fall into the category of someone who resents the success of others, reach out to those people, congratulate them on their success, find out what they've done that has allowed them to achieve the level of success that you want. And guess what happens? You're automatically taking a step closer to transitioning into that growth mindset. Because once you establish a growth mindset, you're in a much better position to be successful in your business ventures, to be successful in your personal life, to be successful in every way that will help you get to the level of success and the level of dreams you hope to accomplish. So remember, there is hope for you if you're in a fixed mindset because you can grow into a growth mindset that will then help you grow into the person you want to be with the success you want to have.